Wow, big news for Kronos, the Crow coin. Um, if you missed out on the 22%, well, I've got a lot to tell you today. I mean, who ordered the 22% pom pom crow? Well, it got fashionably late and uh, it showed up today. So that's the crypto life for you, full of surprise, right? Predictions are fun, but the market has a mind of its own. So in my last video, I was talking about the 8 cents, but <laughs> oh boy, did the Kronos chain have other plans? I mean, we rocketed to 9 cents and now trading at 10 cents up. 13 percent for the day i mean it took a pit stop at the fibonacci retracement levels and landed on that uh, solid 10 cent so not just uh, chronos you know tectonic 2 vvs finance and koji ai all joined the party with this uh, triple digit pumps and today i will be unpacking the excitement looking at what's next and of course getting ready for for the you know another round of pump smash that like button if you haven't done so so wake up because uh check out this chat okay chronos chain decided to flex its muscles again with a sweet right now 13 percent pump well we seems we are reject uh, we are being rejected at this 10 cent but uh, i think uh, we'll close the candle today above 10 cent i'm very very positive about that you should remember that yesterday was all about uh eight cents we had that three days uh, you know scare <laughs> this red candle so um it turns out that chronos had bigger plans and that's the exciting part of crypto so the unexpected the adrenaline rush is all part of the game let's take a quick detour and check out the overall crypto scene most coins and tokens they are green this is from crypto bubble i mean crypto never sleeps and neither does the action so by the way if you uh make sure that uh, you subscribe turn on the notification to stay up to date and uh, let's talk about some stamina chronos chain which faced rejection for about uh, three days straight as you can see on the chart um has actually it went from 11 to 14 i mean that's really it's shown its resilience even with this dip from uh, the 12 to 8 point about 8.5 cent region it bounced back in less than a day recovering more than half of what it lost so this kind of rejection stamina is crucial because it signals a robust support level sure there is a bit of a dip as i'm speaking right now but that's the ebb and the flow of uh, crypto tide. So if you're wondering what caused this surge, it's the whales, my friends, it's the whales. You know, big volume came in and that's the sacred sauce. A 172% surge in volume speaks volumes in my personal opinion. You know, big players enter the game and that's what sparkled the rally. Now the question is, will this be a sustained rally with some legs or I'll be looking at a pump and dump. Time will tell, but the fact that we recovered this quickly from a multi-day dip is a good sign. Now let's talk about um, just a brief mention of of Koji AI. You now after the pump and subsequent dip, Koji AI isn't sulking in the corner either. It's bouncing back and that's significant. People cashed out, waited for the right moment and uh, they are reinvesting now. It's a cycle of growth and reinvestment with the Kronos chain ecosystem. Tokens like MShare and Rapcro are in uh, the green signaling continued interest rates. So what about Tectonic and VVS Finance? Just a brief uh, mention. There is more because yesterday I talked about Tectonic and VVS Finance and guess what? They did exactly what I expected. Went higher and Tectonic is making moves and VVS Finance is not far behind too. So these are projects to keep an eyes, eyes on, especially if you are in it for the gains. You know, shout out to Tectonic Ambassadors and the VVS Finance crew. Great insights and great vibes. Let's go back to Kronos. The Kronos chain future. Why I am I bullish on it? Because it's not just a pump and dump game. I'll say we are making money on Kronos chain because it's building a future. It's uh, the utility, the ecosystem, and the fact that it's the engine driving the entire Kronos chain. So 
the token crow isn't just a placeholder you can stake it lend it borrow it and transform it across different ecosystems some of us uh, trust the the die wallet even or uh, others uh, others venture into the world of web3 with tectonic and other protocols you know the possibilities are endless right now and the gains well mm, they can be sky high in my personal opinion so speaking about the community you know i have to shout out to the tectonic and vvs finance ambassadors you know they are live on various platforms sharing insights and creating a space for learning so we are a community of learners and that's what sets us apart so join these sessions absorb the knowledge and let's uh, let's go together so let's talk about some levels right here we are it seems we are being rejected at nine cent or ten cents we're now looking at consolidation i'll say consolidation around that ten cent mark this is crucial if we can close the day above 8.5 cents we have a solid base to build from you know the fact that we are not revisiting five or six cents is a win we rejected the worst case scenario and that's huge remember holding during these uh, moments of uncertainty is where the real gains are made now let's talk about the cherry on top the vegas uh, grand uh, PCK, you know, crypto.com is gearing up for some exciting updates. The general manager of Singapore is in line up for the fireside chat. You know, if you are in the know, you know this could be a game changer. And hey, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button and become part of the Kronos Chain family. All right, crypto fam. I mean, that wraps up today for Kronos Chain. Uh, I'll say shocker. <laughs> It's a wild ride full of surprises, but I think that's why we love it, right? So hold on to your gains and stay informed and get ready for the next adventure. What do you think about the Kronos chain? Where are we headed? Remember that uh, we are way down. The previous all-time high, we are talking about almost $1, and we are right here at $0.10. Cents. So you're, you're looking at something like um a minimum of a thousand percent okay so that's what i i expect if this is the bull run continues then uh, usually we go to smash the previous all-time highs that's just the name of the game but uh you know usually everybody panics not everybody you know paper hands they panic they sell and uh, they usually sell with very little gains but they lost with very high high uh, you know investments because they hope there'll be a, a rebound but things keep going down eventually they sell when they are like 70 percent down but then they take profits when they are just like five percent up the excitement the whole thing is just anyway i'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section below that'll be it for today cheers